The sounds of hockey are often the loud horns and whistles that accentuate the highs and lows of the game we all know and love. But for Max Finley... I'm profoundly deaf in both ears, so I can't hear um, anything out of either ear. I mean, it, to me, it's dead silence. And Peter Gentoli... On the ice, I can hear the whistles, um, but still, I just, I, I'm not that comfortable out there um, without my hearing aids on. On ice communication takes a different form. Bench interpreters, strobe lights used as whistles. Picking your head up, stick tapping, really to just try to get their attention and, and see where everybody's at. Um, I know a couple people say they look into the glass when they're playing to see what's behind them. All ways that players like Finley and Gentoli were able to skate in the inaugural Jeff Sauer International Deaf Hockey Series this weekend. The tournament hosted by Ahiha and the Stan Makita Hockey School for the Deaf and Hard of Hearing features the best players from across four different countries. Anytime you get to put the USA jersey on and, and represent the United States, it, it means a lot. There's a lot of people in our corner that we've known for almost over 20 years, so to play for those people and play for yourself too, um, it means a lot. The four-day event helps to showcase these athletes and what the sport means to them. This is probably my seventh event, um, and I'm proud of, proud of being able to come to all of these and still being able to play at the age of 32. We're hockey players just like everybody else, and at the end of the day, our hearing loss doesn't define us. Um, and we're you know, out there, normal people doing normal things, and we love the game of hockey just as much as everybody else, and it gives us a great chance to just come together and play a sport we love. And on this beautiful championship Sunday, Team Canada went on to beat the United States in the series men's gold medal game with a final of 5-4. to four. If you want to find out more about deaf hockey or how you can get involved, you can visit their website at ahiha.org.